There he was, across the cafe, a specter from a love story turned sour. Kyle, my ex, stood oblivious, coffee in hand. The world tilted, spinning off its axis, leaving me anchored to my seat, heart hammering against my ribs. Where did all the years go? What became of the laughter, the whispered secrets, the dreams we painted in shared skies? Now, only a stranger in familiar skin remained, a ghost of the man I loved. Oh. My. God. Myrtle's voice trailed off like a dropped comic book panel as her gaze followed mine. There, by the latte foam art he used to mock, stood my ex, Kyle. Time warped, twisting the cafe's cheerful chatter into a deafening silence. Should I melt into the booth like a discarded bookmark, or confront the ghost of our love story? His eyes locked with mine across the cafe, shattering the laughter as effectively as a dropped coffee cup. Kyle. My ex. Time seemed to rewind, replaying memories of whispered promises and shared dreams amidst the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. But the man before me now was a stranger in a crisp suit, his gaze laced with an undeniable sadness that mirrored my own. Even in this awkward encounter, my traitorous heart couldn't ignore the undeniable truth, he was still devastatingly handsome. Panic clawed its way up my throat. One beat, two, three. There he was, ex-husband in all his business-suited glory, eyes locking with mine across the cafe. Our laughter choked, dissolving into the hum of conversation like smoke into wind. Time warped, memories swirling, whispered promises, shared dreams, the scent of his cologne. But this man, handsome even in his strangerhood, wore a sadness that mirrored my own. Mert, I rasped, the word barely escaping my lips. We need to get out of here. My trusty wingwoman didn't need another word. We rose in unison, a silent retreat from the ghost of our past. Each step out the cafe door felt like an escape, the cool night air a stark contrast to the inferno in my chest. As we walked, the city lights blurring into streaks of color, I knew this chance encounter wasn't a dead end. It was a crossroads, a reminder of a love story written in the past tense, its echoes whispering in the wind, forever etched in the bittersweet ink of memory. Tucked beneath the covers, the cafe encounter replayed on my eyelids. Not the initial shock, but the final flicker in his eyes, a teardrop of regret clinging to the edge. My traitorous heart ached, a symphony of bittersweet memories echoing in the silence. Five years, that's what separated us. Five years since our whirlwind romance morphed into a six-month marriage, a forced union that burned too bright and crashed too fast. Logic screamed at me to shut my eyes, to silence the traitorous whispers. We were done, a chapter closed and its pages gathering dust. But the memory of his vulnerability, the raw emotion etched on his face, refused to fade. Was it regret for what we lost, or the ghost of a love that wouldn't quite let go? The answer, like the future, remained shrouded in shadows. But tonight, nestled beneath the comfort of my blankets, I allowed myself to acknowledge the pang of longing, the bittersweet ache of a love story forever etched in the tapestry of my past. The cafe encounter lingered, a smoky tendril clinging to my thoughts as I drifted towards sleep. His teary gaze, filled with a regret I couldn't quite decipher, played on repeat behind my closed eyelids. My heart, that cunning trickster, ached in silent protest. Five years, a lifetime ago, since our whirlwind romance had imploded in a six-month marriage, a forced union that burned too bright and faded too fast. Sunlight streams through my home office window, illuminating the organized chaos that defines my world. As CEO of my freelance IT business, every day is a whirlwind of client demands, competitive proposals, and the delicate dance of keeping my team happy and productive. Balancing long-term projects with quick turnaround sprints is a constant juggling act. Each client brings their unique set of challenges, pushing me to craft win-win deals that keep the cash flowing and our skills sharp. The moments of relief when a proposal lands are sweet, but the true euphoria comes when a project hits completion like a perfectly executed code sequence. Keeping my team in sync is another crucial aspect of the game. Fair workloads, equitable salaries, and a healthy dose of team spirit are the magic ingredients that keep the engine humming. Every employee is a vital cog in our freelance machine, and their well-being is paramount to our success. So, yes, freelance IT isn't for the faint of heart. It's a roller coaster ride of deadlines, negotiations, and the occasional late-night coding marathon. 
But for me, there's nothing quite as exhilarating as steering this ship through the ever-changing seas of the digital landscape, knowing that every satisfied client and empowered team member is a testament to the power of hustle and heart. Now, back to the grind. Time to tackle those proposals and keep this freelance dream alive. My fingers danced across the keyboard, crafting lines of code with the focused intensity of a Jedi wielding a lightsaber. Just as I was about to conquer a particularly tricky algorithm, a thunderous knock on the door shattered my concentration. It wasn't the polite tap-tap of a delivery person, but a relentless pounding that vibrated through my very bones. With a sigh of resignation, I abandoned my digital battlefield and reluctantly padded towards the door. Each step felt heavier than the last, burdened by a premonition of who might be on the other side. As I flung open the door, my premonition materialized before me, grinning like a Cheshire cat who just swallowed the canary of chaos. Well, 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 he drawled, his voice oozing with a familiar brand of mischief. Miss me already? 